I say this to my own kids, and I've got one in the army, and I got another thinking about it. I mean, I know, I know, it's it's a tough economic choice to make these days. I know the jobs suck. I know school is too expensive for a lot of people. Um, you know, I know they make it attractive, but you just uh, you have to continue to remember what it is that uh, they're doing. And not that, that, that organization does not exist to give you money for school. <laughs> that organization exists. Um, to assert the political will of the United States government against other people by force of arms. And what they do is not like it's portrayed in the movies. They're not sending you out there to be a hero, they're sending you out there to be a bully. You know, they're not sending you out there to be a hero. That's not what it's really about. It's never been about that. It's never been about that. You know, the fact that some people fight back and put you in danger is, is also part of the equation, but, you know, it's not, uh, the Iraqis never presented any threat to this country. And if we leave, those Iraqis don't present any threat to this country after we leave. Uh, why, why, why put yourself in a position to go over there and, and be forced by a circumstance not of your choosing uh, to take the life of another human being who's a total stranger? Because they're not, you know, they're not some evil caricature like you've seen in the films and all that stuff. They're people. They have mothers, they have fathers, they have sisters, they have brothers, they have children, you know. There's people that love them just like there's people that love you, you know. And, and, and those people grieve when they lose them, just like people grieve if they lose you, you know. Um, that's maybe not as dramatic and as exciting, you know, and clear cut, you know, and, and, and easy to understand as, uh, you know, a sort of simple binary world of good and evil that you get painted for you, but that's not the way the real world is. You know? And in the real world, again, you have to live with the consequences of your decisions the rest of your life. Think hard. Yeah, I served in eight conflict areas, and you know, I, I raised my right hand eight times, or no, I raised my hand five times during the course of one career, and took an oath. And that oath was to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States from all enemies foreign and domestic. You know, I went to eight conflict areas. I never met a single person who was an enemy of the United States Constitution. Not one. There are no enemies of the Constitution. I did spend a lot of time going out there again and becoming a political instrument, uh, you know, for, for, for transnational corporations uh, and, and to preserve American, you know, military and political supremacy around the world. But that's not in the old. That's not in the old. There were nobody, nobody threatening the Constitution in Vietnam. There was nobody threatening the Constitution in Grenada, Guatemala, El Salvador, Colombia, Peru, uh, Somalia, Haiti. I went to all those places. I never met anybody that was a threat, threat to the Constitution or the principles of the Constitution, for that matter. You know, I just met people. I just met people, and they put me in circumstances where um, I had to do a lot of things that I wish I didn't have in my head right now. You know?